Welcome to Cast Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 7.6. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and just like it. So let's get right into the question. This is what I'd like to welcome to what I'd like to call the game of cancellation. So this particular problem and the ones that will follow shortly are under uh, chapter 7.4 or section 7.4 of the textbook. And this is where we are talking about singularity functions. Now, given this diagram over here, the first part says express as a unit step. So how do you go about doing that? Well, obviously, we use the info or the information which we got from the textbook. So a normal, this is a normal, what's this, a unit step function or a step function, a normal step function, would be something like this. It has an amplitude or a value or maximum value of one. And this value is only in effect for time greater than zero. For time less than zero, this function is actually zero. So it's only one infinitely from this point, which is zero onwards, right? So now let's use this information to look at the diagram which we have in front of us. This diagram over here is quite similar just that the amplitude is 10. So let's use that to, to actually solve this problem. So we have an amplitude of 10. You can see this as 1 over here, or being multiplied by 1. So let's start expressing this as a unit step. So we can multiply the unit step by 10 to actually have an amplitude of 10 over here. And that would go on infinitely. But if you look at this, it doesn't go on infinitely like that. At this point, which is time, t is equal to 2, and now we have a disturbance at a time which is t is equal to 2, or at a later stage, and this is how you, you do the notation for that kind of stuff. Or this is how you represent a delay in time, or this is how you represent time. This is t is equal to 0, which is associated with this first part. This is t is equal to 2, which is associated with this kind of notation. But what comes here, or what actually happened at this t is equal to 2? So now let's analyze that. We had a step function which is supposed to go infinitely like that with a value of 10. But we got to this point and we also went down some more. So let's do this. Or let me just use shapes or just basic logic to explain what happened here. So we went 10 up. Then we came back to this same point. So we went 10 up, so 10 up, and we went 10 down to get back to this baseline, which is the line over here. So we went 10 up, then we went 10 down, which brings us to this point. But we are actually continuing and going 10 down. So this is what happened. 10 up, then 10 down until we got to the line, and then 10 down again. So what happened here at this point, which is t is equal to 2, what actually happened is a cancellation, as I'd like to call it. We cancelled the effect of an infinite 10 amplitude by subtracting 20, which is the sum of minus 10 and minus 10. And this got us to this point, which is minus 10 over here. So we actually have minus 20 over here, which shows the effect of actually going down from this point or disturbing this infinite 10, which we expected from our formula of 10 u of t. So now that is not all. We now have this at this point. We are now at this point. So what happened at this point? As you can see at the point, time is equals to 4. So time is equals to 4. Time is equals to 4. We actually move from this point, which is negative 10, and we actually go back to the baseline, which is over here. And that is all that is basically happening here. We're going back to the baseline. So what do we do to move from minus 10 to go back to the baseline? We basically just add 10. So that is what we're going to do here. We're going to add 10. But what was the time? It was time equals to 4 seconds. And that is, this is basically how you express this diagram as a unit step this is what you basically do and you can factor out the 10 to say i of t is equal to 10 u of t subtract 2 u of t minus 2 plus u of t subtract 4 and that is the value or that is the expression in terms of a unit step so the second part of the question we are asked to integrate and sketch this expression 
So now that we have an expression like this, we can actually integrate this. And integrating a unit step results in a ramp, a ramp function, a ramp function. And therefore, we can just basically take this turn out and just turn everything into a ramp function or the integral of r of t, which is the expression which we found in the first part, is equals to 10 multiplied by r of t subtract 2 r t minus 2 and finally plus r t subtract 4. So this is the expression that we have and we know for sure that a rem function or the integral of a unit step is something like this and it has a slope of 1. Right? So multiplying a rem function with any constant would result in a rem function with the slope of that constant which you multiply by. So let's first focus on this expression over here before we draw anything. So here we're going to have 10 multiplied by R of C. So let's, let's put that into our diagram. So which means the slope of our rem function is going to be, we're going to have a slope of 10. It's going to look something like this with these two mates. You're going to have something like that. So the slope of this is 10. So we expect it to continue infinitely. But at this time, which is time t is equal to 2, we have a change. And we multiply this 10 by negative 2. So which means our RAM function, which actually results from that, would have a slope of negative 20. So at this point, 2. Now, since we haven't had a change until this point, then we continue with whatever we had. And so a slope of 10 would result in 10 when we reach the point 1, and it would result in 20 when we reach the point 2, because that is a slope of 10. So now, at this point, we have a change, and that is why we, we erase all of that, which is supposed to go infinitely. So we erase that, and we pay attention to this change which happened over here. So positive is this way, and negative is that way. So we now have a negative slope of 10 multiplied by 2, which is going to be a slope of negative 20, right? So that is what we basically expect. So we expect a slope of negative 20. As we go along with this slope of negative 20, at this point, which we have over here, you'll see that we are expected to go infinitely. And now we have a slope of negative 20. As I explained in the previous question, which is question 7.5, this is a game of cancellation. We have a slope, we should have a slope which is infinite, but now we have a disturbance of negative 20. So what's going to happen? They actually cancel out. So instead of having 3, instead of having something like that, which is the result of the slope of negative 20, we actually also consider the first ramp function which we had. So it was supposed to go infinitely with a slope of 10, but we now have a disturbance of a ramp function with the slope of negative 20. So you are going to say 10 minus 20, which results in minus 10. So which means after cancelling these two ramp functions, we are going to have a ramp function with a slope of minus 10. And a RAM function with a slope of minus 10 and 3, we're going to have 10. And at 4, we are going to have 0, because this is a RAM function of slope 10. So with each unit, you decrease by 10, because it's a RAM function of slope negative 10. But at this point, 4, which we have over here, we have another disturbance. And we expected this to actually go infinitely as well. We expected the RAM function of, let's say, uh, negative 10 to continue infinitely. But we have a disturbance over here of 10, which is positive. 
So what happens, we did this to the 10 and the minus 20 which we had at this point. So we're gonna do the same thing. We had minus 10 and we now have 10 because this is positive. So minus 10 plus 10 is gonna result in zero, which means we just have a constant line there on. So since this is the last uh, term in the expression, this is what is gonna happen infinitely. We're just gonna have the slope of zero, which is just a single line. And therefore your final diagram is just this triangle-like or triangle diagram, which you have over here. And all that expla I explained is how you actually get this diagram.